Hey YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. As you can see, my duds are a little different. My Christmas sweater. So I just want to come in here with more of like a vlog kind of video with the end of the year. Happy holidays, happy new year message and kind of preparing to start for the new year and just talk to you guys and be thankful for all of you coming here and all that good stuff. So if you want to hear more, please keep watching. All right, so I'm back. I'm actually mad that you can't see more of my um, Christmas sweater. But um, yeah, holidays over here. You guys saw the Christmas wreaths, everything before. Trust me, it's a really fun sweater. You guys would love it. Um, got it from Target, that's my place. I love Target clothes, for it, just in case. Like, y'all didn't know, that's where most of my clothes come from. Um. In this video, I really just want to say a special thank you to everyone who has watched my channel, supported me, subscribed, shared a post. It really means so much to me that people take time out to watch my YouTube videos. Um, I definitely, over the years, have learned so much from YouTube and to be able to kind of give back, share insights. Um, I really think that that's something wonderful and that's how we'll, the community will keep growing and we'll keep learning from each other and figuring this thing out called life while searching things on YouTube, like good times. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the subscribers, the comments. Um, it really means a lot and I've learned so much this year, I've grown this year and it's really been a great opportunity and I'm looking forward to all the things to come in 2020. So, um, in Coming on that note, I really find that what's helpful for me specifically is getting in the mood, the mood of celebrating, spending time with family, relaxing, taking days off, self-care, and then the next thing after that will be planning for the new year. Um, I do know a lot of people who on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, that's when they'll start to be like, okay. Uh, vision board party and 2020 goals and all these different things and um, what can I do to plan for next year and my kind of way of thinking of it is like that is a real hard and fast short window to start thinking about okay so now I'm gonna revolutionize everything that I want to do and what I find more helpful is to start planning in December now I do know that it's a hectic time for all of us, especially with coordinating gifts and holiday parties and meeting all the people and seeing all the family and having like things for work and all the different obligations. Like it's a lot this time of year. But I will definitely say that was has helped helped me be successful is starting earlier than January. I think that if you wait to January first and then you want to start it, you also get caught up in the whole new year new me conundrum negativity towards your new goal so i feel like if you start the planning and stuff and thinking about it in december it's not like a oh new year new me you just started about this whole thing that you're trying to do like no i've been thinking about this and um i'm just implementing it now you know so i think that's really helpful um an example is i am a pescatarian so um i do occasionally every once in a while probably like every six months cheat and eat meat but for the most part i eat like vegetarian food or i'll eat pescatarian and when i first tried to start i started in december and now it's going to be i don't even know how long it's going to be i think it's going to be two years either two years or three years that's how you know you're getting old kids so but um, yeah, so it's gonna be, it's been a while, a little while, and I was able to stick to that goal and make that change because I had been planning since November and then started doing it in December and now it's just made it easier to stick with it. Another thing that makes it easier to plan out what you need to do and get everything done for all the different things is a planner. Now, I know a lot of you are just like, I don't want to do a planner. Like, a planner feels like school. Like, that that's not fun. Um, a planner is so helpful for achieving your long-term goals, break, seeing 
a date for your long-term goals and then seeing the little mini goals that you will complete every week or every month or every bi-weekly so that way you can reach that bigger goal and I just feel like at a certain point you got to make a plan like even if it's not even if it's a bullet journal and you draw it yourself or even if it's scattered napkins that you staple into a notebook or if it's an app and you just like write it or they're just notes on your phone and you just check back in with them every week you have to have some system of showing the plan of what you want to do how you want to implement it and what you could do to move it forward so I in the past I've used the passion planner I like that one I think it's cool for 2019 I used the commit 30 so um and by no means I mean no one's perfect like there's gonna be weeks or months that you miss but it's like what is your goal what are you doing what are you moving forward to it what do you have time to do what do you need to make a priority because you really want to achieve it and what are some other things that maybe you can dec decrease the amount of time and space that you dedicate to it because it's really not important to reaching your goals in the end and I mean it is something that you have to figure out on your own I do know that when I was in college I was team no planner because I'm like school used to make me have a planner I could figure it out without a planner and then I got a planner like I just you have to have some system of organization and just the time to look back at your schedule and also not I don't want to be like critical but to see how much time you're wasting like a lot of people are like oh I have no time for this no time for that and it's like if we're really looking down to the nuts and the bolts of it like what do you, what do you do technically okay so for most people you work five days a week you have two days off in those two days off how do you structure your two days off okay you want to sleep in cool but after you sleep in you can't then mope around the house well not mope but you can't just like be in the house chilling and then it'd be like six o'clock on sunday and you're like where did my weekend go like no you had stuff to do things that you could have planned out yes plan those weekends where you're not going to do anything and where you're going to veg out but also if you know that there's things you want to accomplish things you want to change things you want different you have to make that plan and try and do it and um i think was that was really like a challenging part for me in terms of starting my youtube channel because i was always be like especially i was like oh i'm busy in school and i have I'm trying to find a job and i got a job so i make sure i'm working and doing other things and that's true but at the same time once I was like okay no this is a priority for me I really want to do it I want to try and make it happen then I had to start planning out okay how am I going to get the equipment what am I going to make videos about where am I going to shoot them at when am I going to edit them how am I going to edit them like once I started thinking about each individual things that needed to be done in order for this to be successful it was like okay I'm making a plan. Guess what I should do with this plan that I am making? I should write it down. You know what people write down plans in? Planners. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I don't even carry it around. Like, it's funny, when my, um, my mom, growing up, she used a Franklin planner. And we used to, like, go to the store, and she would get, like, the stuff, and we would have so much fun in there. I mean, that's a whole other story about, like, kids tearing up stores. But um, we didn't tear the place up, but we would just be like playing with the planners and looking at the different designs and like trying to convince her to get the most like ridiculous colorful one that's like totally not her style and was like Hello Kitty themed or something nonsensical. But um, that's also part of the reason why I was like, I feel a little nostalgic about planners. It's like, oh, that's what they remind me of. But um, yeah, at a point you just have to figure out what you want to do set your plan and I hope that this video inspires someone to start something new um if you start that podcast start that YouTube I do know that for especially Instagram a lot of these things people are like oh the Mac the market is already saturated like if you come in now it's too late you miss the bubble da da da, -da. I feel like if you want to do it do it like if you needed the message or the sign this is it um you could do it you could start it it can evolve into something different you could switch platforms later but if you feel like this is how you want to start it and try it then do that like 
why not? Who who says you can't? Like, do it. So, um, not that it's going to be easy or that there aren't going to be times where you have to juggle and balance it with other things that you're doing, but you can definitely do it. Um, I feel like I'm not, I don't want to place too much pressure on 2020, but I feel like 2020 is a good year to be like, I'm starting this new thing or I'm finishing or I'm elevating or I'm changing or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just feels like it's the right time for a lot of us. Um, I know myself included, like I'm really about to sit down and kind of figure out what I want to do, what I want to change. Um, I do have my YouTube channel. Um, there's a lot of beauty videos on here. I do do a few tech videos. I travel a lot, so I kind of want to do some more stuff about that. So I'm reevaluating how I want to make things better and change it and create better content for YouTube. So um, I definitely hope that this video it's well wishes to you and your family um to your friends happy holidays enjoy the time off relax even if you don't have time off like and just try to enjoy the moments you do have because you know that's really what matters this that's what we're doing all of this for you know it's for family for friends for those good times and i really hope that you have the space and opportunity to enjoy it and let's get ready for 2020. So I am also going to take not so much of a permanent hiatus, but a little bit. You know, you got to self-care, relax for the holidays. I want to do the same thing too. But um, I will be back soon with more videos. And especially once I get, you know, everybody else's gifts and I can get my own. So there will probably be a haul. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me. And I will see you in 2020.